Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sadie, for any of you that are new, welcome. Many of you know from my recent videos that I prepped for my bachelorette party and since then my bachelorette party has obviously happened and it was a lot of fun. However, filming wise, I, I don't know how the YouTubers do it, but I couldn't film a damn thing. Like. Every time I was like, oh, let me get the camera out, it just it just didn't happen. Like, things were moving so fast and like, we were always like, go, go, go. It was like, by the time I thought about pulling out my camera, like, the event was over. I really did not capture much on this trip, so I thought I'd kind of do like a play by play for you guys and like, recap this entire trip and whatever clips I do have, I can kind of insert them throughout the video so you kind of get an idea of what the hell was going on. But anyway, I had so much fun on my bachelorette party and I just want to get, well I guess it's kind of like a story time almost. I don't know, recap story time, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're doing today and it's all about my bachelorette party. So if you're interested in hearing about my bachelorette party, then let's get right into it. My bachelorette party took place in Arizona, where I'm from. I was super excited about that. I ended up going with my two besties, my maid of honor, Alex, and my bridesmaid, Kayla. We met up with my two cousins, Brandy, who is also a bridesmaid, and then my cousin, Ben, and my childhood friend, Jesse and also one of my high school friends Whitley joined us for the festivities so that's everybody that joined in for the bachelorette party weekend we left Friday our flight literally left so late that we didn't really have much time to do anything when we got there but we made the most of it that's for sure so we we took off our flight left at like 9.58 p.m. aka 10 o'clock. Then again, you have a time change. So by the time we landed, it was like 10 o'clock. It was really weird. It was like we were so tired on the plane. We were trying to sleep. But let me tell you, I haven't flown in a hot minute and Allegiant, they got me fed up, okay? First of all, when did the trays get this tiny? I'm talking about a, a literal box is what the tray is now. Also, you can't pull it out. It's just stationary, one spot, that's all you get. And I don't know, it was just so uncomfortable trying to sleep on the plane. It was not a fun time. Anyway, we land, we get off the plane. Both of my cousins are out there waiting for us. And as I'm walking out, I see them holding a sign and like twerking outside waiting for us. It was the funniest thing. I was not expecting them to have anything. Like I just thought they'd be in the car waiting for us. Like, hey, we're over here. Hop in, let's go. No, these two are extra, first of all. So I don't know why I thought it would just be a casual little pickup. I should have known that they would be extra about it, but it was hilarious. And there were so many people outside like getting in their cars and like putting their suitcases up and stuff. And I was just like, oh my God. But it was hilarious. It was so hilarious. And then we were hungry, so we went to In-N-Out because that's my mother spot. Okay, every time I go home, I gotta have In-N-Out and Dutch Bros, okay? Period. So we went to In-N-Out and because of Alex being a vegetarian, she can't have anything that's at In-N-Out. So we also stopped at Taco Bell for her. Also, Brandy ended up getting Taco Bell as well. So yeah, we ended up picking up food and then we headed to the Airbnb. Shout out to my dad for getting us this Airbnb. It was the cutest little Airbnb and I told myself I was gonna do an Airbnb tour since I didn't do it the last time I went to Arizona for our family trip and that did not happen. So um, you guys don't really get to see how cute this Airbnb was, but I'm telling you, it was cute. It's a three bedroom, two bath house with a two stall garage and then it's got a swimming pool in the back and it has like a rock waterfall attached to the pool. Uh, it was so cute, 
so cute and it has a fire pit in the backyard it was just so cute it was a perfect little airbnb and it was in the perfect spot located next to literally anything and everything which was super nice um very convenient location for sure anyway we get to the airbnb and whitley is there waiting for us and as soon as we got into the airbnb ben was like it's time for jello shots he made jello shots for us it was this recipe that i found on pinterest and they're like supposed to be pink starburst jello shots but ben went crazy on the alcohol okay those jello shots were so super freaking strong but nonetheless we all rounded up in the kitchen and we all cheers with our jello shots and took them it was weird because we were so tired on the plane and as soon as we landed got in the car with Ben it was like we were wide awake I, I don't know it was weird because like Normally we're two hours ahead of Arizona, so it was like weird to feel tired, but then awake at the same time. So we take the jello shots. Also, I just want to mention, as soon as we walk in, the kitchen table is just filled with marijuana products. <laughs> it's like stizzy batteries and carts and blunts and joints and you name it it's on this table and it was a lot of product that was courtesy of my cousin brandy shout out to you girl she works at a dispensary so she came through hooked it up for us we hung out outside actually i want to even say we everybody else hung out outside and then i was like the freak who was like i need to unpack and like get my stuff situated so i was in the house <laughs> situating my stuff i went into my bedroom it was so cute they had little whiteboards on each door and it said alex the maid of honor and then it said kayla and brandy the bridesmaids and then mine said mercedes actually i think it said sadie and it said the bride it was super cute the decorations then went all out on these decorations like it was insane way better than i ever imagined it to be it was a literal barbie dream house in that bitch because <laughs> my little theme for myself i didn't want to have like an actual theme for my bachelorette party i didn't want anyone to feel like they had to go out of the way to buy a certain outfit just for the occasion so for myself i did a barbie theme and the decor that Ben put up in the house was very much Barbie-esque. Everything was pink, he had streamers, a balloon arch, and then like cute little balloon flowers throughout and it was so cute. Then he had little welcome baskets that had our favorite snacks in them and he had that lined up on a table in the kitchen. He just, he really just came through and made that weekend so special for me and for everyone and he did such a great job with the decorations like i i would never would have imagined it to be as cute and over the top as it was like <laughs> the inspo pics that i sent it was like not even half of what he did so shout out to ben thank you so yeah then you go into my room and there was this cute little balloon that said bride on the dresser and then brandy had laid out some product on my bed she got me a stizzy battery with three different cards an indica a sativa and a hybrid i was really excited about that because i've always wanted a stizzy but i can't really get those at the dispensary here so I was really excited to finally test it out and it hits really nice. Anyway, um, so I unpacked all my stuff and got comfortable, went outside, hung out for a little bit. It was like two, three in the morning by the time we were heading to bed. And then, so that was a Friday, then Saturday rolled around. We got up, we got ready, we took jello shots right away in the morning. And Ben had a specific jello shot made just for me that like okay first of all the jello cups that he used were already very large he filled one to the brim for me it was like hell yeah girl you gonna take that shot so i ended up just taking that shot saturday morning i don't think i finished it though i'm pretty sure like once we got back and like hung out for a little bit then i finally finished it so i took part of that jello shot and then we got ready we went to the botanical gardens which 
is the place that Donnie proposed to me at last year and I took everyone to see the spot where he proposed and it was really special and I love that we kicked off the bachelorette party by going to such a memorable and special spot. Um, it was a lot of fun. Alex and Kayla are both big plant people so they thoroughly enjoyed walking around the botanical gardens well first of all before the botanical gardens we did hit up dutch bros and got some coffee and then we went to the botanical gardens after the botanical gardens we ended up going to a brunch spot in chandler which is called tipsy a so good so good kayla brandy and i all got like the same sandwich and it was so filling it was so good and the service was great and they were really quick about getting our food out superb i 10 out of 10 recommend that spot and i definitely want to go back the next time i visit after brunch we hit up the phoenix outlet mall and did a little bit of shopping and found some really cute stuff kayla got a really cute unicorn uh graphic tee and some socks and then i found a dress like a green floral print dress after that we went back to the airbnb took a quick nap my dad ended up coming over to see me while i was in town which was really nice it was very nice to see him and he got to meet everyone like no one from north dakota has really met my dad so it it was kind of cool to bring people from north dakota to meet my dad yeah, so he came over, we hung out for a little bit before he had to head off to work. And then um, once he left, that's when we got ready for dinner. We all got dressed up and we went to Stone and Vine Urban Italian, I believe is what it's called. It was so freaking good. I'm talking about the best spaghetti and meatballs I have ever had, okay? I know I'm basic as getting spaghetti but i'm telling you it was so good like the meatballs alone i could have just ate a bowl of their meatballs and would have been satisfied because they were so good they were so good yeah it was super good and then kayla and i had sangrias that were also really good 10 out of 10 recommend so then after dinner is when we went to the party place we went on a party bike in Scottsdale. It takes you for two hours around Old Town Scottsdale and um, Takes you to all the bars that they partner with and then you get like VIP passes to cut the line and be the first One in essentially unless they're at capacity then you have to jump in line and wait <laughs> That was a lot of fun. Our freaking guide was hilarious super cool super chill we had so much fun the party bike you meet at the starting location and they have like a little liquor store per se um where you can purchase drinks to take on the bike and then when you go out to the bars and, and the clubs and whatnot, you can purchase drinks, shots, whatever, at the clubs or bars, and then hop back on the party back and still have like a drink. It was a lot of fun. We did try to do suck for a buck. <laughs> For y'all that don't know what suck for a buck is, it is a bouquet of suckers that you take around and you say suck for a buck. People pay you a buck to get a sucker. Suck for a buck. <laughs> Mine didn't go very well, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Kayla's sister-in-law did it when she went to Deadwood and came up with $300. I came up with $7. <laughs> I think it's because we were in Scottsdale. Okay, we should have been like, Tempe, you know, more of the college area. Um, we were kind of in the stuck up rich area. <laughs> so people were like, Did she just ask me to suck for a buck? They were just really snotty and looked at us pretty freaking crazy. So <laughs> yeah, there's that. Yeah, I was really sad about that because I was all excited. Like, oh, you know, she made $300. Let's 
go. And I turn up with $7, so it's fine. It's fine. I was like, we're literally doing set for a buck again for like my 30th birthday, just so y'all know, because I'm going to make some coin. <laughs> anyway, so we went around on the bike. That was super fun. Ben, okay, so there was like little challenges that we had to do. So we would spin the wheel and whatever it landed on, like we had to do it. And for me, I spun the wheel and it was like, you had to use a stop sign as a stripper pole. And for me, I was able to like pass it out to somebody if I wanted to. So we came up to a stop sign and I chose Ben. <laughs> That was hilarious. He put his all into stripper mode. Like, I'm talking about legs in the air, sliding down the pole. Like, it was a whole show. <laughs> At this stop sign, across the street was a club that had a line down the freaking entire sidewalk. So there was just all these people waiting to get into this club and they just got a whole free ass show from Ben using a stop sign as a stripper pole. It was hilarious. And then I got to pick the song that he danced to and I picked Pretty Ricky. They, they have the best songs to be doing all that nonsense too. It, it was quite the sight to see. So I'm glad I passed it off to him because I knew he would deliver. So after the party bike, we went home for the night. I was so drunk that by the time we made it back to the Airbnb and I got out of that car, the world was spinning super fast. And I was like, I have not been this drunk and I don't know how long, because I'm not a drinker. Y'all know this by now. And if you don't, hi. I'm still drunk. I don't know, I just, I've never been much of a drinker. I just don't really care for it. But on special occasions, I make an exception. And this is one of those times. So I had a lot of fun though. It was so much fun. So we made it back to the Airbnb. I'm talking about it took less than five minutes for me to pass out and sleep like a baby. Like I was out <laughs> like a light, okay? Sunday rolls around. We did sleep in, kind of got a late start to our day, but it was fine. I woke up before everyone else, and so I put my swimsuit on and I kind of did a little sunbathing. I got really hot, so then I was like, okay, let me just dip in the pool for a little bit. So then I like tanned just floating around on a little floaty in the pool, and that was fun. So yeah, we got ready for the day. Got us some Dutch bros, and then, yeah. We went to Lookout Tavern, which is another really nice brunch spot. I had this huge fishbowl drink. It was called Shark Attack Fishbowl. It was so good. It tasted like a Blue Jolly Rancher. So after we went to the Lookout Tavern, we did go to the Chandler Fashion Mall and did some more shopping. I ended up getting some really cute necklaces and I did find something for the kids as well as Donnie and just kind of walked around and, you know, checked things out and whatnot. It was a really relaxed Sunday. We really didn't do too much. We were recovering from Saturday night. Honestly, I don't think there was much else we really did on Sunday. Oh, I know. We went to Benihana for dinner, which was so freaking good. Though I do wish instead of the teriyaki chicken that I went with the freaking steak because Ben and Kayla got the steak and oh my God, it was so good. So yeah, we went to dinner at Benihana and then we went back to the Airbnb and just kind of relaxed, hung out, smoked, chit chatted, and then eventually parted ways and went to bed. So Monday is when we flew out. Let me tell you, TSA got me effed the hell up, okay? Because I literally flew there with my full size freaking Morphe setting spray. And then this TSA was like, hold on, there's something in your bag that's setting off red alarm bells. 
and what was it my freaking sunning spray and she was like um you can give this to someone or we're gonna have to throw it it's the fact that she felt how full that bottle was and had absolutely no remorse for throwing it the hell away okay it's the fact that i flew there with it and now you're telling me i can't take it and it's a problem like i'm sorry but a freaking can of setting spray is not gonna blow the entire plane up but you know to each their own she really pissed me off with that one you know what she probably didn't even throw that away she was like mm, and take this for myself i don't know but it was so ghetto i hated it it pissed me off and i was like okay thanks a lot thanks for nothing tsa it was storming really bad to the point that the pilot was like yeah so we're just gonna fly above the airport for like 20 minutes <laughs> and hopefully it's not weather and we can land we got plenty of fuel though <laughs> like he had to throw that in there <laughs> 20 minutes goes by we're just flying above the bismarck airport with two other planes who are also trying to land um and then he comes back on and he's like yeah so we're just gonna give it like another 20 minutes and i was like oh my god the turbulence at this point was just ridiculous also i took a freaking edible before this flight let me tell you it didn't decide to hit until we sat down in the freaking chair and i was like having major anxiety and i was like yep this is my cue to go to sleep <laughs> so i woke up and it was just nothing but turbulence 40 minutes of flying above the freaking airport i was like oh my god today's the day today's the day the universe is about to take my ass out <laughs> so finally after 40 minutes of flying and jumping and bumping up in the air the pilot's like all right we good we we finna land this plane so we land and it was a bumpy ride down <laughs> but we landed we made it it was all good but yeah that's that's pretty much it for the recap slash story time of my bachelorette party i hope that you guys enjoyed this recap story time and if you did please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and of course if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you are the first notified whenever I upload a brand new video. And with that being said, this is really all I have for you guys. And I will see you guys in the next upload. I just hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will just see you guys in the next upload. So until then, bye.